I'm talking a lot about the Ocarina of Time and their temples recently. I went into why the Water Temple is infamous, why the Spirit Temple is the best temple, why the Shadow Temple is my least favorite temple, but still very good. I've just talked a lot. Like, I haven't really shut up for 10 years on this channel. I'm surprised my voice hasn't quit. I would if I was my voice. But just like being on Kanye's PR team, you gotta stick with all that bullshit. So voice, let's talk about another amazing temple in the Ocarina of Time, the Forest Temple. Many people claim it's their favorite temple in the game, and even the series. For the record, I can't find a list of these people claiming that, so maybe that point is fabricated. But I mean, just play the level, see if you get a negative conclusion out of it. You won't, you won't. It is obvious how good this level is, like it's obvious how Call of Duty sucks massive cock. So that begs the main question for this video, why is the Forest Temple awesome? Is it time to pull up your swim trunks and take a deep dive into this question? Of course, I'll give the quick answer now so you can just skip the rest of the video. It's all about the mysterious theme that every part of this dungeon has. The official answer is much longer than that, so just make sure you have your soda pop ready and how about those cheetahs from Boy Chester over there, and enjoy the video. So moments ago, I just said the dungeon is great because it's mysterious. So how is it mysterious? Well, listen to this. I mean, like, come on now, is that not the most ominous tone ever? When you hear that music, whether you're playing the game or not, you know you're about to explore something unknown to the rest of mankind. It is amazing how a sound can work like that. Like, if you hear your mom say your full name, including middle, everyone knows you're about to hide or you're gonna get a spanking of a lifetime. Oh, this music does the same yeah. thing creating this mysterious theme for the temple. Like, you got this choir making a gray, you know, it's a kind of like a low beat and then just the violin comes in. Well, I think it's a violin, I don't really care, I kind of suck with instruments. You immediately feel like you're adventuring into the unknown. What's ahead of you is a mystery. And if you don't feel like that, well, not sure what to tell you. You're about as hopeless as the Detroit Lions are. And how about the design of the temple as well? Not only does the song set the tone, but each room brings together more questions. First off, you're extremely deep in the woods, like you have to go to this place called the Lost Woods or something, followed by a sacred metal forest, which ends up being having all these like, massive guardians and stuff, and they're kind of weak pussies though. So you've already gone this far that many people have never gone to. And then you go even further into a place that seems like no one's ever been because the damn stairs are broken. I mean, this temple was built who knows how long ago, it's basically merged with the forest. It really is a great combination room where it seems like the forest has just taken over and now it's you back in the woods, not even in the temple anymore. So many questions come from why this temple was built, and why it was abandoned, and what is waiting for me as I progress to the next room. Each of these questions are tied together as the giant mystery of this place, and they just drive you to explore more and solve more of the mysteries, and that really definitely does help make this the best. Like I'll say it, snow levels are my favorite, like I ain't got a whole month coming up about them, but an overgrown forest level is great, and I'll say this, it leaves me satisfied. I really got stopped shitting out these terrible puns if I ever want to be accepted in society. And I haven't really talked about the obvious mysterious component yet that's always in any Zelda temples. And that's your puzzles to solve. It's some of the best puzzles in video games are in Zelda dungeons. And that is as true as a statement as Call of Duty being as his assiest of ass of franchises. As Young Link becomes a dull and moves to kind of a new form of dungeons, and the puzzles also take it up a notch. Instead of jumping through the spiderweb and surviving for some insane reason, you have much tougher mysteries to solve. Like finding all those initial small keys, navigating the block room, you're rotating the multiple hallways. Yeah, like you flip the entire temple while playing this place. How puzzling is that? The biggest is what you take care of for the most time in this dungeon, that's finding all the pose. At the start, there's four pose that take the different colored flames with them, preventing you from accessing the lowest floor. Your job is to hunt down each pose and kill it, returning the flame to where it came from. The mystery of where to find each pose is constant in this dungeon. You know, the more positive things I say about this dungeon, the more it's competing with the spirit temple to be my favorite dungeon. But it's kind of like this dungeon's like the 99 cents and the Spirit Temple's the dollar. Like, it's really, really close. But not close enough. The final mysterious piece I want to highlight comes at the very end of the dungeon. The boss is Phantom Ganon, this evil spirit that Ganon hired and lets him down pretty quickly because you kill him without much of a fight. Will bad guys ever hire better goons is a question that we may never know the answer to. The whole thing is just kind of shrouded in mystery. Because you're first wondering why Ganon is even here to why he puts on this strange horse mask that fuses with his face and that's kind of really creepy because it's actually like molded in his face. That must really hurt. You gotta figure out which portrait he's gonna jump out of. You also gotta wonder why he shoots lightning at the ground in specific spots so if you stand in the right spot he'll never ever hit you. You never really figure that one out. Uh, the rally segment, uh, that's not exactly too mysterious. But the room itself kind of just mirrors the ominous kind of feeling for this temple being dimly lit and you're extremely deep under this lost woods. And think about it, the biggest mystery of all, this thing's a freaking phantom. We need like the Scooby-Doo gang to show up and unmask this phantom, except you probably don't want to do that because the mask molded to its face. I'm still creeped out by that whole process. So even as you nearly beat the dungeon, there is still yet another mysterious element to it. So at this point I've talked a lot about why this temple is mysterious. But I do gotta address the other part of the question. Why does being mysterious 
make this temple awesome. And that answers itself in multiple ways. It's kind of like how a brownie sundae is good in multiple ways. You got the brownie, you got the ice cream, and you got all the toppings. Yeah, they're all great. Not a single part of it's bad. The first is you gotta look at where we are in the stage of the game. Link just became 17 years old and is journeying into a new phase of this game. Everything is different, everything is unknown, it's basically like you're going to a mystery. So the first place you need to visit? It's also fitting that it's a pretty dang big mystery. Especially as the Forest Temple really doubles down on that concept. I think too the Forest Temple is in the perfect location for a mysterious atmosphere. It's in the middle of the forest. I mean, you just walk around a forest to real world, it can be, you know, a little spooky. You don't know which direction you gotta go, all I see is trees all around you. It's kind of a mystery on how to get out of there. It's great for exploration. Well, you gotta worry about these guardian things that are kind of suck. But you still just enjoy the mysterious nature of exploring this place. And the last thing is Zelda games are all about exploring. Finding new items and just progressing further in this maze-like layout that the entire game has created. And it's gonna be a lot of fun knowing the unknown that you're gonna run into. So having a temple put a lot of emphasis on that concept is really what makes it stand out. You do want to explore deeper in the woods. You want to find out where the pose went. You want to know what's down in the basement. Which actually I'm a little scared of what's down in the basement because of the fucking mask thing. Trying to solve these mysteries is what this temple is all about. And it's what Zelda games are about. Hell, it's what good video games are all about. The player self-discovering of what is going on is a lot more fun than having something spoon-fed to you. So yeah, why is the forest temple great? It's because it's mysterious. It was absolutely perfect for the best game in the entire world.